performance. The one thing that's changed on the gas model that we should call out on the all-wheel drive models. This is going to be our dynamic torque control all-wheel drive. What we've done since we have that new MID on XLE and above, we've integrated in a new uh, screen to show you all-wheel drive torque balance between front and rear wheels. So customers can see what their all-wheel drive system is doing. When it's in front-wheel drive fuel efficiency, when it's in all-wheel drive for better handling or traction. A lot of customers want to know what their car's doing because you can't really feel it. It's seamless. The other thing we have is we call it pre-torque control or when you turn your steering wheel, the sensor picks it up and automatically transfers torque to the rear wheel. It starts at about a 10% power transfer, up to 50-50. Well, previously, that steering wheel input to automatically transfer torque was only if you selected sport mode. Now it's in all modes. You don't have to do that. So it's another level of proactivity to our all-wheel drive system and all modes on the all-wheel drive models. So customers are going to get added traceability through the corners and better handling automatically. Chassis improvements. This is the stuff under the skin. You hear a lot about this on a lot of new cars, I'm sure. I just want to cover what's different on this and why we did it. The system itself is the same McPherson strut front and double wishbone rear. What's updated is that all four corners get the digressive valves and the shocks now instead of a linear one. Ultimately, our customers wanted a more comfortable and more stable handling vehicle. They were asking for that. So these valves specifically do that. If you're familiar with them, they're not these, this revolutionary technology, but it is new in this car. It ultimately gives you better controllability on high frequency or chattery roads. The valves open up to absorb that and not transfer. And then on smooth roads and corners, it tightens up or chokes up. So that way it limits body roll and makes the car more stable. It's giving a much better valve in these shocks to give customers the comfort and stability that they want. The other thing is the coil springs have been retuned front and rear just to give it a more flat feeling, especially with some of our aerodynamic changes. These help that feeling and just improve it on the freeway. The SE, we mentioned it was not just an appearance package, it actually has unique tuning on all four shock absorbers. So it's going to give it a more sporty handling. You'll get to test that out today at El Toro and just driving around. So I definitely encourage you to get to El Toro to try it on the track. The steering gearbox, a small change, but I want to call your attention to it. We have more direct steering feeling now. We've updated how that power steering rack mounts to the vehicle. We found that we can improve the mounting locations and just make it more stable. And again, just a little more linear and direct steering feeling. On the back of the vehicle, you always probably hear about spot welds in our presentations, but I just want to cover one thing. The rear suspension member on this has additional spot welds and has additional mounts on it. This is done for two reasons, more controllability and stability for the rear end suspension, but also less vibration is going to be transferred into the customer's area, especially the back seat. Customers found that maybe there's a little bit too much NV coming in. So this improvement was done to make that a more comfortable ride. The brake system is stand, still the same brakes as it had last year. It's very capable and we've had no reason to update that other than the brake actuator. The brake actuator is just our latest generation and we're rolling it out to our vehicles to give it better brake feel. It's going to ultimately be more linear of a brake feeling. There's less channels and less fluid volume inside. So when you press the brake pedal, it's more correct of what you, you think you're going to get for the brake, or the brake input that you give. But just give that a shot today. That's been improved, and that's just a rolling generation change on all of our vehicles. NV. I'm not going to bore you with 8 to 10 slides on this. You can see it all in your press kit, and there's more than just this. But I just want to call your attention to it that our customers liked the car, but they felt the interior noise level was getting to be a little bit louder than some customers wanted. Some wind noise, some road noise. So the silencer pad has been increased. The, the dash seal for the engine compartment, the door seals it. Along with other changes in your press kit, it's ultimately the quietest RAV4 we've ever had on the interior, and that's big. So this segment's very competitive, and you need to have a nice, quiet interior. And we do have that with our 2016 especially now. So take a look, but there's ultimately less wind, road, engine, transmission noise into there. There's even new mounts on the transmission to make it less vibration. That's something, again, not really seen, but a big story on this car. It's the quietest RAV4 ever.